Dan. <laughs> and I'm Ellie. And today we are going to go look for a rumored possible Indian cliff dwelling and rock house or Indian rock house. We're not sure what it is, but you can see it from Google Earth, so we'll definitely be finding that. As far as the cliff dwelling, it's just rumors, so we'll see in a while. Dan's friend is a hunter and they're family collectors for years. And so they come upon these sites and sometimes they tell their friends, sometimes they don't. And so we are going to go check it out today and hopefully find something really interesting. We've got about Lot of allergies and stuff, but we're just like, we'll figure out. We'll see what we find. Hopefully, it's cool. Oh, you have some granola bars? Sweet. And we are off. We are hiking down the riverbed right now. Found some cool pottery by the side of the road. It's pretty sweet looking. So we're on the right track, that's for sure. We came across a Karen in the road with a stick. We weren't sure if this was marked by Dan's parents who were ahead of us, or if it was just a coincidence, but the fork in the road was there and we took a right. <laughs> on any adventures like these, we always keep our eyes to the ground, looking for pottery or arrowheads. As we enter the first stone house, we can't believe how well it's built. There were individual rooms, little doorways to each room. This looks like it could have been a front entry room with a small staircase leading out of it down to a lower room. where it almost appears the front door would have been. As we spin around and look back, it looks like the main entrance to the house would have been walking up this direction. But we are very proud explorers right now. We can't believe how amazing this looks. How well preserved it is for it being in the weather on the top of a hill. And now we're planning our next climb to go behind us up a hill to find a Indian cave. Looking for pottery. It's a little bit right here. Finding little pieces of pottery like this really assure us that we're on the right track and it's an amazing feeling. Right in this area and look for an old cave dwelling. We are about to start heading up the mountain, but what we don't realize is Dan has taken us on the steepest possible route there. I don't think the camera does it justice, but it is super steep up this hill. Came upon this cool little den or like cave-like structure in the sandstone. Nesting in here. Look, they're porcupine quills. <laughs> they're 
porcupine quill. So a porcupine has been nesting in this little area. It's crazy. We were way down there somewhere. Down up there. Check out the view. <laughs> the Arizona desert is spectacular during spring. That's what we're headed to. Right there. <laughs> I'm aware. Good job, Dan. Hey, don't Google Earth. It looked like a flat shot over there. Okay, and this is, I guess, somebody who should never read the map then. Love you, honey, but cool. We'll get there. Dan and his dad struggling to get down. And here it is. This amazing basalt structure, cliff-like dwelling. The public has never seen this before. This made us feel like true adventure explorers. rooms built up against this giant rock structure. Dan almost eating it. Dan is informing me that he's about to climb up the structure to see what's up top. I'm walking into another room up against the main structure of basalt, and outside of it is another smaller room made of sandstone walls. More pottery shards on the ground, some painted. I spot a piece of jasper that would have been used for fashioning arrowheads. Dan has made it to the top of the structure now. He's saying hi. These are little pieces of pottery shards, jasper shards, pieces that have been worked that might have been chippings of arrowheads at one time. We found these on the ground around the structure. Here on the north side of it, and you can see stack cross go way up there. We'll try to find a way to get up. Oh, right up in this rock, there's an intentionally built little uh, hole. Like a lookout peep hole, arrow shooting hole. Probably a small ladder. All right, we've made it up to here. Check this out. Nothing in here anymore, but. Definitely a lookout. The rock stack.
Just look at that view. When I climb up, this one was pretty cool. I'll jump down and see why in a second. Perfect little hole. So, my guess would be that on the other side over there, lookout tower or something. I actually better record this because the GoPro is not picking up what I can see. Guessing there's something else. <clears throat> so I'm gonna say this place is really old because, for well, one, there's no evidence of any of the timbers or anything anymore. It's fallen down. But also, like this giant juniper is uh, growing inside what was a room. There. So, I mean, if you came in here and really dug this thing out, you might find some stuff. There's years of tree buildup. This is the hole that Dan climbed up and through to get to the top of the structure. Pops us out on this little ledge. Pretty awesome. That's where we just were. And you can't really tell what it is from this far away until you get up close. It was so freaking cool! So that was our adventure hike. Yeah, the way there was tough. The way mm -hmm. back was a lot easier. It was on the, the way down. We went up the steepest portion of the hill, yeah. as you could see in the videos, and then the way back down was a lot more mild, a lot more easy, but we saw it. That was an amazing... Mm-hmm, it was really cool. Yeah. Lots, lots of pottery, lots of stuff. There wasn't as much stuff as I thought there'd be, but it was really cool. But the, just the history, I mean, that's an mm -hmm. ancient, old. old Native American ruin. And you don't just stumble across it and it hasn't seen people for there's no evidence of people I mean decades in there. it was awesome yeah <laughs> it was really cool we're really fortunate to have come out here and do that entire time. we're exhausted so Sweet. we're gonna go have a beer and eat some eat something we we'll eat beer something pizza. Oh. So, thank you guys for joining us we really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, hit the bell icon. Cool. Follow more of our adventures, and we'll see y'all later. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for following us on our adventures. 